This video was brought to you by my beautiful Patreon community and my YouTube channel members. Thank you so much. Welcome boys and girls to another installment of Saturday Morning Cartoon Propaganda. In this episode, we're going to learn how to make Jehovah happy by rejecting video games and not cheating at school. Yeah, it's about to get culty. You know as always we're doing the cringe challenge, so if you cringe, you lose. And when you cringe, let me know the exact moment you lost it. Are you ready? Let's go. Today, we're going to watch the video titled Make Jehovah Happy and it comes with this epic poster featuring neatly trimmed Jesus. Glad to see he's doing okay. From the beginning, Jehovah has always cared about people. Sadly, many of them have caused him great pain. But some have made him very happy. Jesus always made Jehovah happy. Satan didn't like this. He tried everything to get Jesus to do what was wrong. Damn, why is Satan kind of fine? <laughs> He's like the villain from Hercules, but just not hideous. Well, they're just fine, you know, a little dark, a little gloomy, and as always, hey, full of dead people, what are you gonna do? If you are a son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. It is written, man must not live on bread alone. Yeah, Satan should have tempted Jesus with like a Vegas style buffet or something. Like dry bread doesn't sound that appetizing to be honest. Hmm. If you are a son of God, throw yourself down. for the angels will carry you on their hands, so you may not strike your foot against the stone. Prove it to them. Prove it to who? This place is empty, bro. Plus, Jesus does get to perform like a bunch of miracles shortly after this, so this is not much of a temptation anyways. This guy sucks. Again, it is written. You must not put Jehovah your God to the test. See all this glory. It is mine, and I give it to whomever I wish. And all these things I will give to you. If you fall down and do an act of worship to me. Go away, <laughs> Satan. For it is written, it is Jehovah your God you must worship, and it is to him alone you must render sacred service. And just like that, the most cunning and evil being in the universe gives up after three temptations. <laughs> Yeah, right. Jesus was determined to make Jehovah happy. But this story isn't over. This is your story too. What do you mean, Dad? Well, what you do can make Jehovah happy. Our text this morning, Proverbs 27, 11. Do you remember what that says? Oh yeah, it says, be wise, my son, and make my heart rejoice. <laughs> Good memory, Sophia. That scripture is talking about you. What you do every day, not only big things, but also small things you do, can make his heart rejoice. How would you know that, Dad? Like, do you have access to the mind of God to know what makes him happy and what makes him lose his marbles?
remember today's text, children. I know you'll make Jehovah happy. Let's pray. So are Caleb and Sophia just super late to class? Like, there seems to be no other cars around, since Dad just decided to park there illegally to pray. Okay, kids, it's a pop quiz today. Yes. Nerds. Now, Sophia, if you ace this test, you'll be number one in the whole class. What a nice kid, because kids at school rarely let me play with their Game Boys. Like, I sure hope Caleb doesn't rudely reject his offer because of his religious indoctrination. Forget it, he's a loser. Let me play with it. Are you gonna play or not? Ugh, I hate this stupid bully character design so much. Of course he's blonde and fat, like the bully from Cool Cat Saves the Kid. Oh no, look! It's Push the Bully! Look like a cat, but you stink like a dog. What? And of course he has a angry face shirt. The only thing he's missing is like a font on his shirt that says, I am a bully. You gonna play? Hey, Sophia, you want the answer? What? Cheating once in your test isn't gonna make you successful in college. It's gonna do quite the opposite, Sophia. But I guess Sophia views college in a negative way. That's why she associates it with cheating. Remember, JWs discourage higher education. Why not give your first fruits to Jehovah and pioneer for a year? And then consider how much additional education is required. Her son decided to pioneer and work part-time instead of accepting his scholarship. Bruh. He later served at Bethel. Looking back, he is absolutely convinced that this was the best decision he could have made. And that's why Sophia sees college as a temptation and the negative one at that. I love how the kid is just like, what the hell is his problem? It's just a game. <laughs> same kid, same. Yeah. 
you could have at least like tried to guess the answer. You didn't even try, Sophia. The idea of Caleb and Sophia being the center of attention of the heavenly hosts and of Jesus Christ himself is so silly. Apparently Jesus has nothing better to do than to see if Caleb is going to play a video game or not. Is that what he does all day? Like micromanage the actions of young kids? Do the angels erupt in shears every time Caleb says no to a temptation? What a miserable existence. And why are all the angels white? Is melanin banned in heaven? And why are you depicting Jehovah himself, even though no one has seen him? Isn't it like sacrilegious to try to depict God in artwork? So many questions. This is the life of a JW kid, guys. You are indoctrinated to believe that Jesus and the angels are watching you 24-7 and that even in your most insignificant actions can affect the mood of the creator of the universe. What you do every day, not only big things, but also small things you do, can make his heart rejoice. To prove this, Watchtower often quotes Genesis 6-5 in which God sees the evil man in the days of Noah and is deeply grieved. This verse, they argue, proves that our bad actions make Jehovah sad. But the people in Noah's day were murdering each other. All Caleb wanted to do was play a video game. That's it. Are you telling me that the sovereign of the universe, the same dude who launched a bunch of bloody wars in the Old Testament, is gonna be upset over what video games Caleb decides to play with? Are you kidding me? In fact, Watchtower has a long history of speaking against so-called violent video games. They've made several videos on the matter. There's something else video games can rob you of. Your sense of right and wrong. The Bible says that God hates anyone loving violence. The fact is, video games promote lots of things the Bible condemns. Violence, immoral sex, and spiritism. And when you condemn spiritism, do you mean ghosts and monsters? Because in that case, then Jehovah hates Super Mario since it has like ghosts in it. Is it just a game? Imagine you were doing that in real life. You know, all that stuff in the game you're playing. What kind of person would you be? Your choice in video games may say a lot about who you are and what you think is right and wrong. No, video games don't define who you are. What the fuck? Like this is a long running trope in fundamentalist Christianity where if you play violent video games, you're gonna become like a school shooter or something when that's been proven not to be the case. If I play Grand Theft Auto, that doesn't mean I'll go running over pedestrians, right? You know, I'm super glad my parents weren't super strict with the type of video games I was allowed to play. It. Like, we couldn't play like rated M video games or something, but my dad even bought me this one Simpsons game for the GameCube. You know, the one where you run over pedestrians and shit, it's like a rated T version of Grand Theft Auto. But the thing is, a lot of JW parents are really strict. Some have even banned Pokemon from their homes because it's demonic or something. So Pokemon is a game that teaches children how to enter into the world of witchcraft, how to cast spells, how to use psychic phenomena, how to put work supernatural powers against their enemies, how to fantasy role play. Pokemon world is a world of the demonic, of the satanic. 
But while you might not take it quite seriously, I assure you that demons take it quite seriously. The video game slander doesn't end here though. Maybe it's something very specific. Or maybe bad association is coming from a place we never expected. I only join games with witness friends I know. But sometimes, they connect with people I don't know. Who pick games I'm not sure we should play. Oh no, this man is drinking a beer after a long day of work. What a piece of shit. But maybe my friends know them. So they're probably okay. It's vital that we avoid bad associations. What about online games that connect you with other players? Do you know who's on the other end? Your game could be putting you with the wrong people. So you not only have to avoid violent video games, you also have to avoid playing with non-witnesses. Even though JW gamers can be quite the sailor mouths at times, you would be surprised. I told mom what's been happening when I game with my friends. She gave me good ideas on what to look for in the research guide. This is a grown ass man confessing to his mom that he played video games with unbelievers. You just can't make this up. No! So Caleb literally believes that his mundane decisions affect the mood of the creator of the universe. That's a huge burden to put on your kids. They shouldn't be worrying about displeasing God. They should be worried about learning and making friends. If Caleb would have accepted to play the game, he would have faced tremendous guilt, just as he did when he took a birthday cupcake. Caleb and Sophia believe that the only way to make God happy is to follow all Watchtower rules. I would argue that if there's a loving God out there, I think he would be more concerned with Caleb and Sophia being good people and not on the type of games they play. It seems Jehovah has his priorities all screwed up. Bah. I give these cartoons 9 out of 10 in the cold meter. They're super culty, they're super damaging. This worldview is not good for kids. My life is much better now that I realize that there is no Jehovah watching my moves 24 7 and that the video games I play don't define who I am. So let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below and let me know when you lost the cringe challenge because I love reading your comments. If you want to support my work, please join me on Patreon or become a channel member. It's only $1 a month and you get early access to all of my videos and you get to use these fun emojis. Think about it, it really helps me out a whole lot. Thank you guys for your support, take it easy and stay away from the tower. Goodbye, little sheep.